What's going on guys? It's your boy Magoo back with part two of uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon and we're kicking off uh, at the start of chapter two. Time to hop in a taxi and head to the address written on the envelope. Hopefully I find a, a driver who understands Japanese. Well, let's hope so. So we're at the airport in uh, in Hawaii. Uh, there's a taxi somewhere over here. Yeah, here. here we go. Yo, dude. Hey. Hey, got a sec? Ooh. Kanichiwa, you're from Japan, right? Aha, you can understand me. Okay, can you read this? Here's hoping they know enough to hold a conversation. Mm -hmm. Uh, not a fucking clue, mate. You need to jog on. Damn. Thanks. Try another taxi. Right, where's the next taxi? Uh, somewhere there. There's another taxi. What's up, broski? Aloha. Aloha. Uh this mean anything to you? Hmm? Uh, do I speak Japanese? Oh, you can read it! <laughs> <laughs> you just come in from Japan? I got you. Now, uh, hop in. Hey, all right! Lucky day. Uh, where to? Here's the address. Look familiar? Hmm, uh... That's a good ways away. Oh, really? Is it gonna be a long drive? First time in Hawaii? <sighs> yeah. Cool. Welcome to the island. Uh, hope you have a nice time. Hey. So, you're from Japan, right? I'd love to get out there one of these days. <laughs> you say that to everyone who flies in from Japan? Like, this is a sales pitch? Nah, that's just how I really feel. Japan's a wonderful country. It's super peaceful. It's a great food. Yeah, but what about Hawaii? This place is supposed to be heaven on Earth, right? Well, the warm weather all year round is nice. But, uh... Yeah, Hawaii's got its problems, too. Ah, uh, go figure. And truth be told, we love Japanese guests out here. Uh, they make great customers, and we used to get a lot more before. Maybe you ought to bring your friends next time. Maybe. This time around's kind of personal. You know, you're a pretty upbeat guy, huh? <laughs> that an islander thing? <laughs> no, I, I get that a lot, that I'm easygoing. But I'm not all Hawaii. My dad was from Japan. Oh, really? Then, is your mom from here? Yep. Huh. Hey, I guess you're the same as me. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Actually, I only found that out just recently. Uh, hey, uh, sorry, but mind if I see that envelope again? I, I want to check the address. Oh, sure. <sighs> we almost there? I could have sworn it was more toward the suburbs when I looked it up. Oh, is that right? Because somebody did their homework. 
Okay. That's not good. Get out. See, this is why I love the Japanese. Butter them up just a little, and they'll trust almost anyone. Should I be putting my hands up? Eh, you can stay as is, as long as you're quiet. I'll want your wallet and your smartphone. And you know what happens if you say no, don't you? You're gonna shoot me? You? Really? You bet your ass. I ask because I don't think you can. Uh, uh, huh? A lot of people say America's some gun-crazy cowboy country. But I doubt many of those cowboys know what it really means to pull the trigger. Uh, the, the, the hell's your point? Uh, hey! You want to know if someone's going to shoot you? Look at their eyes. A little practice, and you'll get the hang of it. But, uh, hey, hey! Didn't think Japan would know how to strike back, huh? Maybe now you'll think twice. God damn it! Don't get smart with me, asshole! We're gonna clean you out! The battle is on! Yeah! What do I got? Fat breaker. Open Have some of this. Uh, electric again. I can never block that. Get slapped. did your job, you'd have got a fat tip. But now all you get is a fat lip. Oh, and give me my envelope. Uh, envelope? The one with the address, man. Uh, uh, oh. oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> now what? You gonna turn yourself in? <laughs> Actually... It's, uh, you. I'm turning in. Huh? Yo! That's a Kane <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? Spit it out! <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, you taxi robbing dick. The fuck? Officer, help! I am being robbed! This hooter won my money, and he pointed a gun right at me! Wait a sec! Don't tell me you're seriously buying this crap! Are you? All right, all right, smart guy. Put your hands in the air and turn around! Okay, hang on! I, I'm doing it! Get on your knees! Look right now! I can explain! I swear I just got into town! I haven't robbed anyone! Come on, uh, arrest that scumbag! I'm pissing myself over here! Damn it! Why me? This is bullshit! <laughs> Better luck next time, asshole. Hold on, officers! That man is no thief! Oh, hey! You're the Ahuijo guy! Who you should be arresting is the driver! He's the real thief. And if you need proof, I recorded the whole thing. Here.
Yeah, buddy. Save my ass. Not even here a day, and I almost land myself in jail. Sorry you had to go through all that. I was surprised myself. Yeah, but what are you doing here? Well, actually, I was following you. Following me? <sighs> That's right. As we were leaving the airport, I noticed you had hopped into a suspicious looking taxi. It looked suspicious? You could tell just by looking at it? The thing is, I was born here. As it stands, I've got a bit of um, a sixth sense for it. I can tell if a driver's out to scam tourists or not. And he was setting off the alarm, huh? It's not like I was 100% certain about him. But you were so nice to me on the plane, and I imagined what might happen to you, and frankly... I just couldn't leave it alone. Well, thanks, man. You really saved the day. I'm Kasuga, by the way. Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san? My name's Mitamura. Eiji Mitamura. Hey, that's a good name. So, Kasuga-san, where were you headed? If I may ask. I... Oh, shit! That's <laughs> right! The address was on the envelope! The envelope? Was that what that driver ate all of a sudden? Yeah. Did you copy the address somewhere? No. I didn't think I'd lose something that important. I see. Actually, hold on a moment. I might have something. Huh? You know what? I might be able to work with this. What? Are you serious? I can see the envelope in the video I just took. It's too rough to read as is, but I can try tweaking the footage. And then we can read it? Yes, I think that should work. You'd really do that for me? Of course. In fact, I'd say this was meant to be. But I won't need my laptop to enhance the video, so... If it's no trouble... Can I ask you to come to where I'm staying? Oh, sure! Why well, owe you big time, a chan a chan You're A.G., right? So you're a chan Sorry, did, did I get a little too chummy? Oh, no. It's just been a while since anyone gave me a nickname. Anyway, should we get going? Actually, Kasuga-san, aren't you hungry? Uh, oh, yeah. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. Could definitely grab a bite right now. In that case, why don't we do that? I haven't had anything either. All right! First big Hawaiian meal, let's do it! There's a place I used to go to pretty often. We can go there if you'd like. Uh, is there anything you'd rather not eat, Kasuga-san? Nah, I'm game for anything. People tell me I act like it's the best thing I've ever tasted, no matter what I'm eating, so... <laughs> well, that's good to know. Tja! If you're picking the place, then I'm ready to chow down. Just, maybe we keep it cheap, because, you know, I'm kind of broke. Oh, no worries. It's a casual little place. <laughs> we're in business, then. McDonald's. Oh, man. Going on a trip's great. You meet all kinds of new people. Shame about the first guy waving a gun in my face, though. Could have done without that. I hear you. Still, all in all, that kind of thing doesn't happen too often. Honestly, I wonder if he's all right. You don't think he got shot or anything, do you? But you're worried about him? A guy like that? Well, I mean, the guy didn't seem evil. Not entirely, at least. <sighs> you're one of a kind, Kazuga-san. Not everyone could admit something like that, especially about someone who tried to rob you. You don't think? <laughs> Maybe it's the island. The bigger the space, the bigger the heart, you know?
Kasuga-san, what's the thing you think of when you hear Hawaiian food? Ah, uh, let's see. Loco Moco, I think? I know I've heard that one before. I mean, hamburger patties and sunny side up egg on rice? I'd wolf that down in two seconds. Oh, <laughs> it is tasty. And these days, it's not just with hamburger. You can get it with chicken or even mahi mahi. Mahi mahi? Oh, it's a type of white fish. The big ones get up to about six feet or so. Wow, so is that like a Hawaiian specialty? If I caught a fish that big, I'd never shut up about it. <laughs> it makes for a good story. On that note, Kazuga-san, how long are you planning to stay in Hawaii? I don't know. I haven't decided, but I doubt I'll be here for too long. I'm not exactly here for sightseeing. Oh, then what for? Work or something? No, it's not for work either. Oh, yeah? Well, we've come this far, I guess. My mom and I were separated at birth, and uh, apparently she's still alive. She lives out here now. I came out here to see her. Th you were separated? Hard to believe, right? It hasn't really hit me yet, either. Oh, it's any wonder. I, I can only imagine how difficult that must be. Wait, then, the address on that envelope you lost, was that hers? Exactly. Would have thought some guy would eat the friggin' thing. <laughs> you sure have been through a lot. <laughs> you know, one door closes, another opens. I mean, here I am now, having a great meal with my new pal. Pal? But you mean me? If it's okay with you, yeah. You've been a great friend so far. Kasuga-san. <clears throat> All right. I guess I'd better get you that address then. I can't let my new pal down, after all. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Thanks. Man, that was good. Be great to get uh, come back here once things settle down. Glad you enjoyed it. Check out that view. All I usually get is some nasty sewage canals, so this is really something. That's right. Yeah, definitely appreciate it more after going away. Back then I took it for granted. Oh right, you said you were born over here? You visiting your family? Yeah. Yeah, you might say that. Always good to keep in touch. Mm. Gotta be tough on the wallet to come back to Hawaii every time though, huh? Yeah, it's pretty harsh. I'll have to knuckle down at work next month. Is your job pretty flexible? I'm a freelance engineer. I used to work full-time corporate, but it was a little awkward to stick around once I got in the chair. I see. If you're freelance, you can get it all done from home, so it's a bit more liberating. Freelance engineer, huh? Well, Hope you paid accordingly. Huh? You know the trade? I worked at a Hello Work in Yokohama. Got fired after a bit though. Huh? You what? Probably hard to respond to that. Don't worry, it's all good. Oh, no, it's not that. You said you were in Yokohama? Yeah. Yeah, I was. And Hello Work fired you? So, wait. Kasuga san? What's up? Don't tell me. Are you the same Kasuga they talked about on the Tatara channel? Oh, yeah, that's me. Mm. I knew it. Man, channel must be pretty famous, huh? I mean, yeah. She said you'd done some pretty heinous things, but frankly, I just can't believe it. <laughs> Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Seriously, the whole thing was whack. It had to be, and that means you have to get her to take it back. Oh, you mean DM her or whatever? I tried sending one, but I never got a reply. 
I'm not, I'm not miffed about getting fired. I did do some ambiguous stuff here and there. You... you really think so? Yeah, honestly, I don't really care about me and all this. What really gets me is all the people I dragged down. You were put through this whole unreasonable ordeal, and you're worried about other people? Okay. Unreasonable? Is what happened to them. What the hell? No point getting all depressed with a view like this. We ought to keep moving. Oh no! What was that? Casca? What's wrong, ma'am? Ah, right, English. The wind blew my scarf into the ocean. It's really special to me. Mm. Uh. Her scarf was blown to the ocean. She says it's really special. Leave it to me. Oh, is that right? Okay, I'm on it. Can you ask where she saw it land? I'll swim out and get it. Sure. Of course I'll swim out and get it. <sighs> I got a dirty can. Faded pink book. <laughs> I got the scarf. What a hero. So it was a gift from her late husband. Glad we got it back for her. Excuse me? Jumping into the ocean just like that? What were you even thinking? <laughs> Sorry for the scare. Appreciate you playing navig Navigator, eh, Chan? I haven't yelled like that in a while. Sorry. Sorry for that, too. Anyway, let's get going. Just like that. Oh, right. Nearly forgot. Hang tight. Back in the pimp suit. Sorry for the wait. Now we can go. <laughs> Lead the way. Hmm? Those are some huge palm trees. Exactly what I picture when I think of Hawaii. Palm trees swaying over a blue sea. That about sums it up. Hmm? Something wrong? Back in Japan, I'll often snag a persimmon off one of the trees in the park. Is that a no-go out here? Mm. I'm not sure. I've never even thought to do that. I doubt they'd put you in jail for it. Seriously? Good to know. Huh? That's just a guess, though. Wait, what are you doing? What do you mean? I'm grabbing some fruit. Huh? Pardon? I saw it on this one anime when I was a kid. It just looked so good. <laughs> I've always wanted to try it. Hang on, they sell coconuts and everything right over there. Sure, but isn't it better if you get it yourself? Much as I want to climb, that's easier said than done. <sighs> Maybe if I give the tree a good tackle. Are you serious? That's something a little kid would do. It would never... It did. Look at that. What? Totally. It even split open. And it's a full one too. Alright. Here it goes. Wow. Whoa. 
This stuff's amazing. Oops. I'm just here gorging. So? Yeah. Cheers, HM. No. That's okay. I'll pass. No, you've had your lips, Randy. I don't want to try that. <laughs> Come on, you got to try it. It's really good, man. Your throat's all dried out from yelling earlier, right? Quench it up. Huh? How did you know that? I heard that cough a mile away. Yeah, it's good to try new things. Sure. All right, give it a... This really is good. Told you. I never thought I'd get one straight from the tree like this. Can't remember the last time I did something so childish. <laughs> it's a good time, right? No harm if we goof off now and then. Well, moderation's key, I suppose. Anyway, we should get going. It will be dark before long. Got it. All right, let's be on our way then. Wow. Pretty happening spot. It's like this all day, yeah? There's lots of stores around too. I'll say. Good place to pick up some souvenirs. Hmm? What's wrong? Hey Chan, what's up over there? Mm. Oh that. They're probably just trying to pick her up. They tend to go after the tourists around here. Well, it's not unheard of. She looks kind of upset though, right? Yeah. I'd certainly say so. I see. Figured as much. Thought maybe it might be different overseas, but nope. Sorry, man. Think you could wait here for a sec? Okay. Not again. I said no. Come on, baby. You don't gotta be scared. Come with us. It will be fun. Hello there. Uh, pardon me. Fuck you, want? Hmm. Ah, oh, shoot. What's the word? Oh, uh, lady. That lady there. She is troubled. Not good. Okay. What? What the hell's this guy on about? Huh? Shit. Maybe their English sucks too. The lady, she is troubled, no good. Hey, piss off. Or what, you wanna get your face smashed? Oh. Ah, now this I understand. English is one thing, but fighting words are another. What are you doing, Kasugasa? Hey, Chen. Maybe take a lap. I think I'm about to throw down. Now you're just being reckless. Things might get a little rowdy, so don't get too close. Normally I wouldn't, but I'm not about to leave you hanging. At least let me offer support. Seriously? Well, alright, pal. <laughs> you fellas want to go? Then step right up. Cool. This, this guy thinks he's hot shit, huh? Let's splatter him. Now show you, Hasuka-san. Now's your chance. Come on, yo. That's picking time. <laughs> <laughs> Go get that block worker.
Let's get it done! My bad. Sorry, man. We learned our lesson. Honest. They said they've learned their lesson. I see. I'll bet. So did our master English yet, or what? You're asking me? Sorry about all that. You're safe now. Oh, no need to thank us or anything. It was no big deal. Thank you for saving me. Ah, you're so handsome. Maybe let me say thanks. My hotel's just down the street, hmm? Come on, I promise it will be fun. Mm. I, uh... Hey, I helped out too, you know. Sorry, guess I was more her type. <sighs> <laughs> well, she clearly just doesn't appreciate a more rugged, older man like myself. Anyway, it was good to enjoy the island a bit. About time we head over to your place, huh? Yeah, excuse me. Actually, why don't we grab a quick bite first? The sun's about to set, and there aren't too many stores where I'm staying. True that. Uh, know any good spots around here? We could always do that caf over there. They have a great tuna salad sandwich. Sure thing. A caf, huh? Got it. I'll go grab us a couple of sandos, so sit tight. Thank you. That's very kind. Tuna salad sandos coming up. Aloha! Our coffee machine's undergoing maintenance, but our sandwiches are still available. Tuna salad sandwich. I'll have... Ten. Thank you! Hey. There you go, you. pal. Wow, thanks. Alright, we got our grub. Now let's roll. Let's roll. It's a good Man, job he didn't take offense at that. Awesome. It's gorgeous everywhere you look. I'm glad you're enjoying it. If I wasn't stuck in this chair, I'd show you a few other places too. No, this has been great. Have you been in there a long time, eh, Sean? No. Uh, I was in an accident after work one day. I guess it's been about four or five years since. Oh, an accident, huh? That must have been rough. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, what about your friend, Kasuga-san? You mentioned him earlier. Oh, yeah. He was in an accident, too. Lost his ability to walk when he was just a baby. I met him when I was a teenager. Wheeled him all around town for years. I think I wanted to be the legs he never had. Still, that wasn't what he wanted at all. Really wish I would have known that sooner. Kasuga-san? Hmm? Oh, oh, sorry. Talking to myself. He's a dear friend to you, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's more like a brother, if anything. A brother? Well, that's how one of us sees it, at least. Oh, also, am I going the right way here? Oh, yeah, this way's fine. All right. Kasuga-san. If I had to guess, I'd say you have a lot of friends. There's something about you. And you're incredibly easy to talk to as well. Hey, thanks, eh, John? I'll introduce you one day. Maybe once we're back in Japan. Oh, no. I would just get in the way. Nonsense! We've got nothing better to do. 
So, you and your friends, you said you're all in Yokohama? Yeah, Ijincho. I ended up there after getting shot this one time. Woke up in a garbage can. A buddy of mine who was homeless at the time wound up saving my life. <laughs> you're making things up now, right? It's the truth, honestly. I've never told a single lie in my life. <laughs> you sure that wasn't a lie? <laughs> See, look, you're on my chest. You still got the bullet wound. You're kidding. Oh, wow. Is that really a bullet wound? Yeah. And the guy who saved me is a good friend. Has been to this day. He did eventually find work and stuff, but as I said, we're all back on the job hunt now. Yeah, that's right. Sheesh, it's all coming back to me. Everything was my fault. I'm why they lost their jobs. Is everything okay, Kasuga-san? Yeah, sorry. Uh, just some baggage I haven't let go of. Well, I don't know any of the specifics, but if they're your friends, I'm sure they've gotten over it. <laughs> you sure know how to cheer a guy up, eh, Sean? Uh, <laughs> don't mention it. Here we are, Kasuga-san. This is the place. Oh, we're here? Okay. Thanks for having me. How's it look, h -chan? Can you pull it off? Well, I'm gonna run the image through analysis right now. We'll know soon enough. Unreal. I'm totally clueless with this stuff. Well, I could never fight off some lunatic cab driver. Okay, analysis complete. As for the address... Huh, I think we got it. Holy crap! How did you do that? Hey, I'm just glad I could help. You're the man! Thanks so much, Achan! Uh oh. Hey, it's you from the taxi. <sighs> it's like a meat locker in here. So, these were the ones giving you grief, Tomizawa. Y yeah, th there's no doubt about it, Yamai son. <laughs> Dude looks like a modern day pirate. Hmm. You know, your face looks awful familiar. Yeah? Now, where have I seen you before? Oh, that's right. You're Kasuga, the hero of Yokohama. Huh. I'll be darned. Don't tell me you boys don't know. Kasuga here starred in the great dissolution of the Yakuza. What? I take it you didn't come for an autograph. Your little taxi scheme went south, and now you want to settle the score, is that it? While it is true that Tomizawa here botched the job all by himself, the car he got impounded belongs to my syndicate. Oh, yeah? You trying to tell me there are Yakuza in Hawaii? <sighs> Not exactly something you'd find in a guidebook, is it? <sighs> On that note, someone's going to need to reimburse us. At a glance, I'd say you're strapped for cash. You do seem rather lively, though, so I'm sure we can put you to work. A level with you, you're my son. I have no idea how the Yakuza operate out here in Hawaii. What I do know is you've got it ass backwards. If anybody's gonna reimburse you, it should be him. <clears throat> I do see your logic. The problem is, he's worthless. <laughs> oh. 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 Does somebody not drink his milk? A light tap like that and your bones go crunch. 
fragile little thing. How could you? This bottom feeder used to owe us money, you know. And so, I gave him work because he claimed he had no income. So if anything, he should be thanking me. Hmm. <laughs> That's some fine-looking tech you got there. Don't you goddamn dare! If you want to fight, you got one. But leave Achan out of this. Kasuga-san, all that's left of your envelope is on there. I didn't think to back up that image, so if they take my laptop... Got it. But don't worry. I won't let them anywhere near you. It seems Big quite an impasse, then. Quick. Ooh, I'm freezing my ass off in here. Freezing? How are you not sweating your ass off? If only that were the case. Unfortunately, this tropical weather does nothing for me. Nobody understands. They're about to be bleeding your ass off. However, this might warm the blood. Kasuga-san, let me take support here. Thanks, Ajon. Kasuga-san, by all means. What's that? Let's get it done. Uh. Uh. Oh, caught you on your face. That's picking time. Yeah. Yeah. What you got, man? Have a seat, buddy. Oh, come on. Let's get it done. Come on. Now show you. How's it got on? You're wide open. Hey, cool. Let's go, Yamai. You okay, Ajon? I'm fine, but I'll need time to recover. Cool. You, Kasuka san, be careful. That's picking time. Hey, look at you. Now, Kasuka san, allow me. Let's get it done. Hmm. Have a bit of hair. Break yourself. No dying allowed. Much better. That's picking time. Let's get it done. Now 
show you. Okay, enemy analysis complete. Stronger. Sorry, H son. No telling if there's more on the way. We gotta go. Right. <laughs> what? The laptop safe, and the image of the address is secure. I just sent it to your smartphone. Good man. Good thinking. Really? Sheesh. You're in this scary mess because of me. You got guts, H son. Not at all. I just didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Thanks, H. John. I mean it. You're my hero. Ichiban Kasuga, eh? That's right, you're my. Remember the name. Well, Kasuga-san, thanks for everything. You kidding? No way, thank you. I dragged you into all that crap. No, 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 don't worry. Honest. It was an experience, and an invaluable one at that. If I'd heard I'd one day get into a Yakuza brawl, I'd have never believed it. <laughs> you got me there. Also, Kasuga-san, you treated me like a regular person. You look at me being in a wheelchair like it's just a difference of being right or left-handed. Honestly, it was refreshing. I really enjoyed our time together. I'm not so good with praise. <laughs> Go on, keep it coming. <laughs> I gladly would if we had the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything, Achan. Let's meet up again. Yeah. Once things quiet down. Definitely. Best of luck with everything. Yeah, take care. A hui ho. A hui ho. <laughs> yeah. A hui ho, Kasugasan. This is where Akane-san lives. Excuse me, Akane-san. My name is Ichiban Kasuga. I came here all the way from Japan. Actually, Captain Sawashiro sent me. Is anyone home? Maybe she's out. Excuse me! Hello? Sorry! Come on in!
the fall. So, you just woke up on the beach out of nowhere. Yeah. Balls swaying in the breeze. Yeah. On top of that, you have no idea how it happened. No. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna need you to cut the crap here. I can make a better bullshit in my sleep. Sleep that I never get. Thanks to all you Japanese folks running around, needing help, or making trouble. <laughs> I know it sounds like bullshit, but I'm telling the truth! <sighs> and why would I be lying? I'd just be digging my own grave! Well, at least you're not a druggie. Nothing crazy on your report. Guess you're just another sick pervert. But hey, your country's famous for weird shit. <laughs> like the anime porn or the panty machines, huh? Would you just <laughs> listen? I'm telling you, I'm the victim! Uh, Call it robbery, grand theft even! My passport, my wallet, my clothes, my underwear! She did me so dirty! Excuse me! Hello? Just a sec. I'll be right out. Here comes my mom. Okay, thanks for waiting. Akane-san, it's so nice to meet you. This is delicious. Aw, oh, thanks. I wish I could offer you something a little fancier. Are you kidding? The food's amazing. Not to mention the view. But yeah, uh, sorry I just showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> no worries. I'm just happy to finally meet Akane-san's son. Her son, huh? Whew. Wish that didn't sound so awkward. But to be honest, I'm not really feeling it. Feeling what? I mean, I've never heard from her or seen her face once. Not since the day I was born, anyway. Besides, all the old ladies around town brought me up. In that sense, I had more moms than I could count. So, yeah. I don't really know if I need a Kane-san to be my mom. To me, she's just... my boss's main squeeze. Anyway, I came out here to give her this. What is it? What's left of the man she loved. Sad to think this is their first reunion in ages. But maybe it'll offer some closure. Maybe. Gotta say, I'm surprised though. I never knew Akane-san was the type to have a maid. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't call myself a maid per se. I just do her shopping and help around the house. I'm studying abroad here, so it helps me pay tuition. Cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't catch your name. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, uh, if you didn't hear me yelling it before. <laughs> I'm Chitose. Chitose-san, good to meet you. So, 
when's Akane-san supposed to be back? Oh, not for a while, actually. She told me she'd be here tomorrow. You know, you could always spend the night. We have a guest room ready and everything. Sure, if it's not too much hassle. So, tomorrow's the day. <sighs> Maybe I'm not ready for this after all. <laughs> I know what'll help calm those nerves. Oh, uh, thanks. <sighs> Seriously, pineapple wine? <laughs> the God's gift to man! One of Hawaii's many specialties. <laughs> I'm glad you're taking a shine to it. Oh, heck yeah! The drinks are fine. The food's divine. Hawaii's like heaven on earth! Yeah? Then maybe you'll appreciate this. <sighs> Hawaii's pretty famous for its rum. Made with sugar grown right on the island. This one's the best of the best. Ooh, and I have to gear myself up here. I take it you're a pretty big drinker if you can handle stuff like this. Not as big as you from what I can see. Speaking of big, those arms. <laughs> a guy's gotta be built, don't you think? <laughs> you think so? Hey, uh, Shitose-san, think you might be a little close? <laughs> Am I? Well, yeah. A sweet girl like you, alone with a scruffy old goat like me. There are guys who might get the wrong signal. What if that's the signal I had in mind, though? You're one of the nice ones, Kasuga-san. I feel like I can trust you already. Wow, you really are swole, aren't you? Do you box? Uh, no. I do throw punches every now and then, but... Uh, that's not the point here. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> You're so easy to read, Kasuga-san. Mm, by the way... Y yes? <laughs> Did I mention we have the house to ourselves tonight? <sighs> Listen, Shitose-san. I feel like the luckiest guy in the world just being here. And I appreciate you taking care of me. But... I'm sorry. There's somebody else in my life. Huh. A girlfriend? Uh, if only I could call her that. If only she didn't hate my guts. <laughs> and what's the problem? Besides, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Yeah, well... It'll still hurt me. Hope you understand. <laughs> you are just the sweetest guy, aren't you? <laughs> Gosh. Uh, look, I'm sorry if I went too far. All I want is for you to be comfortable. And you know what that means? <laughs> A toast to being an honest man. <laughs> Ah, uh, sure. Uh, that's the same rum we've been drinking, right? Hope it doesn't kill me. <laughs> Come on, it's just one little sip. <laughs> Man up, Ichiban. <laughs> uh, all right, we're doing this. <laughs> to honesty, then. Oh, wow. This is kicking my ass. Chitose san. How are you still hanging? Oh. The hell was that? <laughs> I think I should have eaten more. <laughs> Sorry, Chitose san. The glass just slipped. Chitose san. Should have done this from the start. <sighs> Sweet dreams, Kasuga-san.
It's okay, I'm not in the Yakuza anymore. After that, you wandered around for about a half an hour before our boys rounded your dangly ass up. And that concludes our story. Look, I was just trying to get back to Akane-san's house. Right. Akane-san. The mother you never met, then you claim some mystery maid took everything you had. Officer, you gotta believe me. Believe you? Do you even understand your situation? You've got no passport, no wallet, not even the clothes on your back. That effectively makes you a John Doe. How do you like your new American name? Point is, no one's gonna believe a single word you say. <sighs> I'll give you one chance to unfuck yourself. You call up that so-called mother of yours and get her to pay your bail. I'll even be so kind as to lend you a phone. <sighs> There's no point. I don't have a way to get in touch with her. Oh, no one's on your side, huh? Well, that's a crying shame. <sighs> now, what do I want to put you down for? Don't want to waste you on something petty. But when was the last big... Hey, what are you mumbling about? Oh, yeah! That one case. It happened a half a year ago on River Street. Some money-waving tourist got mugged. Lost nearly everything on him, including his life. Took him three months just to get off the respirator. All right, what's that got to do with me? Oh, I'm getting to that. See, to this day, we don't have a clue who did it. It's our job to protect the peace. But when a crime like that goes unsolved, that's a problem, right? Well, that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> Buddy, you are slow on the uptake. I'm saying you are that culprit. What? Right now, you don't have a single shred of proof to defend you. So I can turn you into any criminal I want. <laughs> but hey, you'll be doing society a favor. Us cops can recover our image, and the public can sleep better at night. You bastard! Yeah, that's more like it. Go ahead, take a swing. No, no, really, make my day. Because when the courts find out you assaulted a cop, you're grave. It's that much deeper. <laughs> you really are the perfect criminal. <laughs> now that I think of it, a few other cases ran cold too. Wouldn't be hard to pin those on you either. Let's see. Add it up. You just earned yourself at least 20 years in the slammer. And while you're rotting away, I'll be celebrating with the top brass. Huh. Maybe even get that big promotion. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Shit. You know, 
I grew up in a pretty shitty neighborhood with some pretty shitty people. But I've never met anyone so full of shit in my life. Music to my ears, asshole. Now get up. You'll be cooling in a cell till hell freezes over. That's right. Just keep your head down and your mouth shut. Unless you want a longer sentence. <laughs> Thought so. Hey, officer. What? Why'd you want to be a cop in the first place? <laughs> to protect and serve. What else? Any other stupid questions? You're about what I expected. I should tell you. I had a history with the Yakuza way back when. Oh, yeah. Your back was all inked up. Fitting image for a violent, reckless scumbag. Maybe so. After all, we Yakuza can be reckless. And we do get pretty violent. Oh? Uh, holy! Suck on that! Suck it, Stop right pig. there! Hey, we got a runner! Stop! Damn! Oh, shit! How'd I end up in this mess? My ass is grass if I'm caught. Better get a move on. I'd stop what if I hell? were you. I sent a patrol car over already? Word got around that fast? Freeze! Don't do anything stupid! You can't run forever! Stop right there! You can't run forever! Don't do anything stupid! We're gonna lock your ass- Here he is! Get him! <sighs> Crap! I'd stop if I were you! Stop right there! Don't stop, Hitchy. You keep running. hero of Yokohama. I doubt Masumi Arakawa would approve. Long time no see, Kasuga. Whoa. Kiryu-san? Is that you? <laughs> Who else would it be? Well, it's just... You seem a lot different than before. How about now? Oh, yeah. <gasps> yeah, that's the Kiryu san I know. But why are you even here? Now's not the time. For starters, let's see that other hand. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, much better. But hey, have you always been this handy? More or less. Let's move. Man, am I glad you're here. Kiryu-san, allow me to give you proper thanks. You made me a fugitive's accomplice. Not sure a simple thanks will cut it. Uh, Kiryu-san, please forgive an idiot like me. <laughs> I'm kidding, Kasuga. I heard you got set up. Doesn't feel good, does it? Uh, not at all. But wait, how'd you even know where to find me? Well, I'm actually here on a job. I came to Hawaii to find someone. So I've been hitting the streets for intel. And that's when I heard about you. Oh, I guess I'm lucky your job took you here then. You saved my ass just now. Uh, by the way... When you say you're on a job, 
Guess I should start from the top. You know I'm dead on paper, right? Yeah. I heard it's to protect your family. Ever since I made that choice, there can't be a trace of me anywhere. And to prevent any slip-ups, any move I make is under watch. The Watchers are the Daidoji faction. They keep our economy flowing and our leaders' hands clean. At least, on the surface. Sounds like fun people. Well, they requested that I take a certain job. I'm here with an assignment. An urgent one. <sighs> you are to find and detain the person in the photo. Doesn't look like your average terrorist, at least. Who is this, anyway? I do wish you learned your place by now. Have I ever answered those questions? <sighs> well, figured it was worth a try. We'll ready you a passport by next week. Under an alias, naturally. And why do I need a passport? For your vacation, of course. Your target is in Hawaii. Hawaii? <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? So that's what brought you. Must really be something big to drag you of all people out here. More or less. And right when I was getting down to work, I ran into you. Guess trouble always finds me in the end. I promise I'll make up for it somehow. Okay, then why don't I return the favor? I can help you on your search. You'll be the cool-headed advisor, and I'll, I'll be the hot-blooded muscle. Thanks. But don't you have enough to worry about? You assaulted and evaded an officer. Pretty sure that adds up to a felony. In fact, I imagine they have a warrant out for you as we speak. Though... In the end, I guess you're safer sticking with me. If it's money you need, I can help. But I can't do much about your passport. No worries. I'll get back what's mine. Couldn't forget the little thief if I tried. And on that note... I've got a couple words she needs to hear. You know where this thief of yours might be? I... have no idea. Uh, but... I was thinking Akane-san's house might hold some clues. You know, since the thief was working for her. Do you remember how to get there? Uh, uh, yeah, I should. Why? Because I'm gonna need directions. Wow, you're really gonna take me? Man, you really do go the extra mile. Uh, you, uh, need a shoulder rub? Do that, and I'll probably crash this thing. Thank you. Appreciate the new digs. Sorry to be such a burden. No. Well, we can't have you walking around in jail clothes, right? When's the last time you ate? I'm sorry. Oh, forever ago. Better not draw attention to ourselves. I know somewhere we can lay low. Kiryu joined the party. I'll be fine. Hey. Well, oh, I wanted to get that tree.
all sorts of useful stuff get... yes. to pick up when you're wandering around on the streets. Hey. The hell do you want? All we want is a drink. Mind stepping aside? <laughs> Thirsty, huh? <laughs> Guess you're gonna need to pay the coverage charge. Wow. I thought these assholes were only in Japan. Shows you how much I've traveled. The thing about scum is, they grow in the ugliest parts of just about everywhere. Huh? You two can talk shit all you want, but if you ain't paying, you better start praying. I'll kick you down a notch. The battle is on! I don't think so, boys. You don't want to stick out. Let's make this quick. Right! Let's go! You think I'm a Let's fool? see you try! Come at me! Let's see you try! Yeah. Let's see you try! In a real fight, it's all about your swing. You want to change it up with your opponent. Let's see you try! Here we go. idea. Sorry about that, brother. We'll just leave you this, okay? Jeez, they paid us instead. Guess we're the toll boys now. Hey there. There are a lot of guys like that around there. You have to be careful, though. Some of them know what they're doing. Better safe than sorry, right? Especially when it comes to protecting yourself. Best carry a weapon on you. Oh. Got it. Can't imagine why you'd say that lightly. I mean, I guess there are some nasty dudes there, but a weapon? Uh-huh. They got some weapons in this shop. Wow. Never hurts to be prepared. Let's mosey on over and yeah. Mosey. Aloha. Aloha. I haven't really got a lot of money. I might have a better bet. Arigatou gozaimashita. Arigatou gozaimasu. It's me. Welcome back. I see you've brought company. Kasuga, meet the bartender. I know it's pretty desolate in here, but at least it's good for gathering your thoughts. Hmm. Desolate, he says. Uh, I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kiryu-san here has been all sorts of help to me lately. Hmm. Is that so? Well, the pleasure's all mine, Kasuga. Now that we're all acquainted, how about we have a drink? Sure, it'd be an honor.
How about we sing a song first? Looks like I'm up. <laughs> Still got it. That wasn't terrible, I suppose. Hasuga. You ready to drink? Oh yeah, I'd be honoured. Yes. Well, that helped take the edge off. Yeah, sure does. Sorry to make you pay for it. I feel like such a dumbass. But man, ain't nothing like drinking up and chowing down in Hawaii. Glad to hear you're enjoying yourself. Oh, yeah, well, it's been a hell of a journey so far. From the moment I came here, I've had nothing but non-stop madness. But you know, seeing you here makes me feel a whole lot better. Getting sucked into local trouble's never easy, is it? That's for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna make it even for everything you've done for me. Okay, but I won't be holding my breath. Seriously, I'm not talking out of my ass here. For me, getting to help you is a privilege. So whatever I gotta do, just say the word and it's done. All right. <laughs> I can tell you mean it. Thanks for the offer, Kaska. Hey, any time, Kiryu-san. It really is an honor. Well, here's to our strange reunion. Right on. Cheers! As you spend time with your friends, your bond with them will deepen. Deep bonds can bestow many advantages such as tag team skills and powerful combo attacks. There are a lot of ways to deepen your bonds, engage in party chats, get gifts, play mini games and cooperate in battle. And sing at karaoke badly. You gonna sleep all day? It's getting close to noon. What? You, you son. Why are you here? Hell, why am I here? <laughs> For reference, we never left the bar. After you passed down at the counter, I had to lug you up here myself. Oh, my bad. Strange. I can usually drink way more than that. Guess you were pretty exhausted. A good night's sleep can help. Yeah, I'm feeling 110% now. Good. Then it's time we headed out. Right, to Akane-san's house. I left the car out in front of my hotel. We'll take that to get there. Sounds good. You're up early. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to park my ass upstairs my first time here. Honestly, it's no problem. I used to charge per night, but that was long ago. Nowadays, that room's only good for storage. If you ever need a rough over your head or a place to speak in private, feel free to make yourself at home. Really? Awful kind of you, man. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd say this, but a friend of his is a friend of mine. So swing on by any time. Yeah, you bet. See you around. Hey. If I'm not mistaken, you've got a crawdad on you, haven't you? Mm hmm? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry. It actually slips my mind sometimes. Wait, does this place not allow animals? <laughs> no need to worry, it's more than welcome here. I've had some shellfish recipes in mind lately, in fact. I 
And this one's looking nice and fat. That's his pet, dude. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nancy's part of the team. She's not for cooking. Is that so? What a pity. Well, I'll leave her be if you say so. Consider resolve. Open to her as well. I appreciate it. <laughs> Just be sure to keep an eye on her. If she wanders into a hot buttered frying pan while I'm cooking, I can't be held accountable. Uh, yeah, she'll be careful. Aloha. Hmm? Man, people sure are friendly out there. Really brightens up your day. Oh, are you a customer? Aloha! Aloha! <laughs> Aren't you a friendly one? <laughs> Just doing what I can. Hey! Are you a customer? I don't think we've met before. Oh, yeah. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kiryu-san said this place was his favorite, so I wanted to check it out. Kiryu-san? Are you two friends? Oh, my God, isn't he the coolest? Kiryu-san, I mean, he's so refined, but also so dark and doleful. The way he sits at the bar mulling over his drink like the whole world's hanging over him? I know better than to pry about his past, of course, but nothing gets by me neither. I can promise you that. Fact is, I just melt into puddles every time he looks into the distance and goes, Soka. Of course. Don't think I haven't noticed he's got that cute, naive side to him too. Like, like... Yeah, I think she likes him. Uh, Sorry, I got kind of carried away there. Don't tell him I said anything, okay? <laughs> Did I introduce myself? I'm Kay. I work here at Revolve. Nice to meet you, Ichiban. Likewise. I just got here, so I got no idea where things are, and I'm kind of all alone. Think you can give me the lowdown? That's so? Then I know the perfect thing for you. You know, Aloha links yet? What's that? Only the trendiest fucking community app we got here in Hawaii. Everyone's using it now. Uh, so it's for, like, people around town? Yeah. It's basically our own little social network. And you can friend people on it just by saying hi. Hawaii's so easygoing. It makes sense something so casual will get popular, you know? All you need to do is walk up to someone and give him an aloha, and the app takes care of the rest. Works like magic! See, I'm not from here originally. For a while, I had trouble fitting in. And I was like, what the hell? Whose ass do I have to kick to meet some motherfuckers around here? But with the app, I made a bunch of friends practically overnight. Now I feel more at home in Hawaii than I did back in Georgia. Oh, no kidding. Well, it definitely sounds interesting. Any chance you can put it on my phone, too? Bet your ass I will. Let me install it for you. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, thanks! All right, guess I'll give it a go. What are you guys chatting out here? I mean, you're done shopping? Oh. Hey there, boss. Perfect timing. Go ahead and give it a whirl on the bartender, Ichiban. Huh? Oh, for real? He uses it too? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know it looking at him, but he's crazy about it. Try flashing him a greeting real quick. All right. Hey! What? Aloha. <laughs> the old man's got a pretty open mind for this stuff. I like that about him. Go ahead and take a look at your app now. You should already be friends. Whoa, you're right! This really is cool! Right? 
Pretty fun, huh? Check out the profiles of the people you greet. It's a great way to learn more about them. Try doing favors and shopping locally, too. Before long, I bet you'll have friends coming out of your assholes. <laughs> right on. Okay, then. Guess I'll cruise around and make some friends. Heck, maybe I'll try going for a hundred. Why not? Ha! That's the spirit, motherfucker! Hey, if you two are finished, get back to work. Yes, sir. Catch you later, guy. Sure. See you around. Oh, Dawn. I completely forgot. Huh? Oh, uh, what's that? My friend request. I mean, we're friends now, too. Aren't we? Bye-bye, Ichiban. Come again if you ever need some big-ass shoulder to lean on. And bring my husband to with you. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See you later, friend. Curious, son. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> yeah, you ready now? Yes, sir. All right. Car I'm using is over at my hotel. We'll go straight there. I get you. Sounds good. Then let's get going. Uh, Your hotel is no that there. Feeling good. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> show, I'm gonna punch some people on the way there. Cool. Here we go. Delicious. It works. Whoa, hey, where'd this rain? I'll sue you. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Allow me.
Let's go. This is it, Kiryu-san. You're sure this is the place, Kasuga? Yeah, I'm sure. Might have been pissed drunk, but my memory's sharp as ever. Doors open, Kiryu-san. Hey! Is anybody home? At least he's not going to get stripped butt naked this time. It's just the same as it was that night. Kiryu san, you find anything? No, I can't say I have. But let me ask you something. What's up? You're sure this is Akane san's address? The place her mother lives? Uh, it should be. Not that I've actually seen her here, but. How about this then? Is Akane san the woman in this photo? What the? She looks older, but yeah, that's her. Wait, what are you doing with her photo, Kiryu-san? What's going on here? Remember how the Daidoji ordered me to find and detain a certain someone? Akane-san's that someone. What? You're telling me some government spy rings after my mom? I don't know why, but that seems to be the case. <coughs> Yamai! What's she doing here? Hmm. Causing trouble, no doubt. You know him? He's pretty infamous in Hawaii. At least in the underworld. Well, seems we've got company. Nice ride. Ah. Uh, shame I had to do that. Go. Tomizawa. Don't disappoint me this time. I, I, I won't. Guess we're doing this. <laughs> Too bad they don't know who they're dealing with. Ready to bust some heads, Kiryu-san? Not today. Let's slip out through the back. Huh? Uh, Kiryu-san? Round back. All right, we're in business. Get in, Kaska. Don't move. Uh, you again? Oh, it's Omizawa, right? Looks like your mind got you pretty bad. You healing up okay? Just shut up and stay put, all right? If, if I don't take you out right here, it's all over for me. His hand's shaking. I doubt he has a shot at this range. On my signal, you get in the car. Hold that thought. There's something I need to do first. What are you saying? 
Hey! Kasuga! One more step, and these bullets go right through your brain! My advice? You put that down and get yourself over to a hospital. Actually, we could even take you. Oh yeah? Is that some kind of threat? <sighs> Tell me, did you swear an oath to Yamai? What? Yeah, so what if I did? I say you slap that oath back in his face. Uh. In the Yakuza, your boss calls all the shots, whether it means life or death. That also means he better be worth your blood on his hands. So tell me, is Yamai worth it? I can't just... Look, I don't have a choice here, man! If I back out now, you will kill me. You don't know him like I do. We can help you. <laughs> what? Huh? What? What'd you say? I said, we can help you, and I meant it. We'll make sure your mind never lays a hand on you again. You can count on that. Why? Why, though? After everything I did to you? Do I look like a fucking moron? <laughs> yeah. You look like you're about to shit your pants. <laughs> Believe me, though, I've been there. <laughs> Where all you want to do is scream for help, but you know no one will answer. That's a dark place to be. <laughs> Thing is, sometimes you will get an answer. I learned that from a man who bailed me out when I was just a young punk on the streets. So I figured I ought to pay it forward. And now would be the time. <sighs> <laughs> Atta boy, Tobisama. That's more like it. Let's see who we're dealing with. Oh, this fool again. Yeah, this fool. Why the hell are you here? Took the words right out of my mouth. Where's the old lady? I don't gotta tell you shit, man. Oh, you'll wish you had. Tomizawa. Shoot him on the count of three. After that, we can try your buddy over there. Say, I know you. M boss? <laughs> no, perhaps not. Back to business. One. You still have a choice here. Two... Come on, Tommy, do the right thing. Tomizawa! <laughs> Some choices you can't undo. I would know. So if you're gonna take us out now... Get ready to carry that weight. For the rest of your life. Huh. <laughs> and three. <laughs> Tomizawa. Holy shit! Holy shit! I was shot up! <laughs> hey, but you didn't, alright? Now don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Ain't that right? Yeah. The man's made a bold step forward. Let's do our part and clear the path ahead. Okay, boys. Listen up. I want one man maimed and the other murdered. Doesn't matter which. But save Tomizawa from me. I'll make sure he wishes he was never even born. All right, let's go. Guess I'll teach you some manners. 
Here we go. Come on, get in! Uh, okay. Kazuma Kiryu. You're alive! The dragon rears his head once more! Originally, Yamai was in the Tojo clan. It's part of the Tabata family. Tabata? How come that's not ringing a bell? They dissolved around when you swore up, and their members all went to other families. Oh, yeah, that happens. The Daidoji faction told me about him before I left Japan. The main reason the family broke up is because Yamai killed Shuji Tabata, his patriarch. It was patricide? No way. Something I'm no stranger to? Well, that's all in the past. Oh, I mean, I... I wasn't trying to accuse you or anything. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyway, from the look of it, the murder was a crime of passion. Huh. Hard to imagine Yamai being passionate about anything. That's what the police said, anyway. Apparently, Yamai had feelings for Yui Tabata, the patriarch's wife. No wonder that didn't end well. Yeah, and when her husband found out. He got into the fight that ended his life. Yamai then tried to assault Yui, who was present at the scene. After the dust settled, she testified everything he'd done to the police. What happened to him then? He was branded a traitor to the Tojo clan, and everyone went after his head. But by then, he'd up and disappeared. Nobody'd seen him since. Years later, he surfaced over here in Hawaii. While back home, the Tojo clan was crumbling. Guy's got a hell of a backstory. By the way, why'd he show up at Akane-san's in the first place? Uh, we were supposed to grab her, or at least you know, turn the house inside out looking for clues. I, I don't really know any more than that. So one thing we know is Yamai's definitely after her. What the hell would the Yakuza want with Akane-san? 
If I had any idea, I'd tell you. But like you said, the boss is the one calling the shots. All right, before my brain explodes, let me just lay this all out here. I started off by visiting Akane-san at her house, right? Uh, but instead of seeing her, I met a girl named Chitose. I thought she was her maid at the time. At first, I thought she was cool. But that was before she got me drunk, took my clothes, stole my wallet, and tossed me on the beach butt naked. <laughs> then, after waking up with sand all over my junk, I got arrested. Junk. They were gonna blame me for all these crimes I didn't do, but I escaped. That's when I ran into Kiryu-san. After catching up a bit, we went back to Akane-san's house to find clues on Chitose. But then Yamai showed up, and now we know he's after Akane-san too. Oh, and that's not all! That night, Chitose said Akane-san would be back the next day. But we were just there, and she was nowhere to be found. So for some reason, Akane-san's been in hiding. And since she wasn't home today, she's either still on the run... Or she's already been found. And since it's not by us or Yamai, then is somebody else after her too? I wouldn't be surprised after what we saw. Damn it! What do we do? If Akane-san's being chased around by a bunch of lunatics, we can't let them get to her! Unfortunately, we're a little short on leads right now. Not to mention, the day's grown long. You two can stay at my hotel, and we'll try again tomorrow. Yeah? That'd be okay? Not like you have anywhere else to go, right? Uh, no kidding. Thanks. That work for you, Tomizawa? I, I'm pretty much dead if I go home now. Yamai's probably got it under watch. Then it's settled. We'll call it from here. Your face pisses me off. I'll take your life. Bring it on. Cool. Here we go. You're in it now. All right. What's the hold up? Allow me. Try hard. Best fortune, did someone from a shrine drop this? Oh, that's where it went. Thanks for picking that up, pal. Hmm? Huh? Whoa. Don't scare me like that. Don't scare you. You're the one in the giant monster suit. Hey, I resent that. I'm the world famous Camelot jerk. Don't you know I'm posted up at the shrine now? Oh, huh? Camelop? That's that word. Camarocho mascot, right? Wait, is that you, Ichiban? Uh, yeah. Who are you? Have we met? Of course we've met back in Yokohama. You collected all those Tojo clan crests for me. I did. Oh yeah, that was it. This guy asked me to bring him stray crests I found to keep Tojo clan relics out of enemy hands. Back then he said he was wearing the Camelop outfit to hide from the Omi Alliance. Right, you're that former Tojo man under there. I knew you wouldn't forget. Long time no see, bud. How nuts is it to run into each other again, here of all places. Yeah, sure is. Wait, does that mean you're still out hunting down crests? In Hawaii? 
Ha! No, no. My respects to the clan have been paid. That chapter of my life is closed for good. I figured it was time to make a brand new start somewhere else, you know? As well as I'd do that us. Told you guys have things to atone for. Maybe so, yeah, although it kind of feels like you're dragging the past along with you when you've still got that costume on. Oh, this? What can I say? Had the damn thing on so long now that I feel naked without it. It's got its benefits, though. The priest there, he says I make for a good shrine mascot. Pays nothing to sneeze at. So now I can make a buck while staying true to my art. Plus, this outfit breathes surprisingly well in the tropics. Bye. Well, hey, far be it from me to judge an honest day's work. Good luck out there. Whoa. Before you go. What is it? That fortune you found a second ago? If you see any more around, you think you could bring them here? Huh? Oh, uh, sure. There are others. Yeah. See, so I really want to impress at this job, so I imported a boatload of the suckers straight from Japan. All officially Shinto blessed. They shipped to my house and I walked over here with them, except, well, I had a lot of errands to run and I kind of took the scenic route. By the time I got to the shrine, the whole bag was empty. Thing had a big old hole in it. You believe that? <sighs> I think I'm starting to see where this is going. I took an advance order on salary to buy so many. I literally don't think I can live without them. Plus, you know, they make the kids around here smile. So, I'm begging you. These little paper son of bitches have probably scattered all over the island by now. And obviously I can't just abandon my post to go looking for them. Alright, alright, I get it. Find the fortune slips, bring them back here, yeah? Exactly. You're a good one, Ichiban. Of course, you understand I can't pay you for this money-wise, but I also ordered a ton of prizes to trade for them. We'll do it on points. Hmm? Wait, points? Four points for a best fortune, three for a good fortune, two for a modest, and one for a bad. Makes sense, doesn't it? There weren't that many best fortunes mixed in with the bunch, but I'll make sure it's worth it for you to find them. I mean, I get the feeling you're not here on vacation, you know? Am I wrong? Wink, wink. For a guy stuck in a grinning corporate fursuit, he's actually pretty shrewd. Anyway, may the gods bless your search. Ugh, so now he's got me picking up pieces of paper. But the prizes aren't bad, so if you decide to play this game, make sure you pick them up. What? Go cry to your mom. Okay, you asked for it. Cool. Bone on your head. All right. I'll take you on. Let's go. Something else to pick up there. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. Here I come. Armed and ready. Here's the shot. Here we go. Don't work out now. Biff. This is the end. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Well, aren't you persistent? Let's go. So Tommy Zara's in a little bit of trouble health by there. No dying allowed. That's right. Yeah. Oh, was he out of range? He was out of range of the healing. Well that sucks. Well done, Tommy. The bell with. Don't get caught. Uh 110. What you doing? Have a sandwich. Allow me. Go man, you have got to go. No more holding back. Later. Cool. All right. 
What's the hold up? You. Looks like I'm up. You're in it now. Here we go. This is the end. Such a pain as well. Get some Mark Iron pieces and iron fragments. You can upgrade your weapons to those. Looks like I'm up. Here we go. Let's go. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, come on, bring it! What's the holdup? End of the line! <laughs> cool! Allow me. Try harder next time. There's no one in the back getting Ram. stronger. Learning more Level every up. day. Rank up. Get in stronger. Bit by bit. Punk? I'll take your life. All right, let's go. Allow me. Oh, come on. Yeah. Try it, bitch. All right, don't get caught. Got you now. Armed and ready. Here's a no. I'm even stronger now. Still good to go. Where are we going? To oh. the hotel. Saying a show, dipshit. Mmm, <sighs> delicious. wrong nothing just you know I'm gonna look out for trouble I heard Japan's a safe country but in Hawaii things can get rough real quick once you veer off the main streets hold on and trust me you don't want to mess with these people they don't know the meaning of a fair fight I'll bet so let's try and get random. No point fighting if we don't have to. Yes. Sounds good. Then we'll get to your hotel with as little commotion as possible. And it got rid of my... My line. What are you looking at? Yeah, we'll have a little commotion. I'm gonna... Let's do it! Here we go. Looks like I'm up. We're done here. Let's go! Cool! All right. Uh, uh, see you in hell. Damn, that's so yeah. good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Was it kind too? 
You gonna cry? The battle is on. Looks like I'm up. Here we go. A little plant on your head. Yeah, ran over. Again. Here we go. Cool. All right. Allow me. Doing better than I thought. Imagine there. Here we are. Really is a nice hotel you've got. Don't know how people sleep here, let alone a 40. Sorry, bud. Jeez, careful, man. <clears throat> Damn it. Got my wallet. What the hell? Hey! You can't just go around stealing shit! Ugh. back here Kasuga he probably knows the area better than us only way to do this is to split up and corner him little Japan's still under construction so let's drive him south toward the beach okay south toward the beach it is Kiryu-san Tomizawa you guys ready to do this yeah, yeah. what's life without a game of chase now and then again Navigate obstacles by moving the left stick or pressing A and Y according to on-screen prompts. You'll run automatically, so get going. Stop, damn it! Oh, God damn it! Get lost. Stop! Uh oh. Close call. <laughs> My God, that man can run. God. End of the line. Oh shit! Sure, he didn't pocket anything, Kiryu-san. Yeah, thanks. I don't recognize you. Did you come from the mainland, or? Yeah, not here. A guy like me won't die of exposure. There's work here too. At least that's what I heard. Kasuga, why don't you let him go? You sure? Last thing I want to do right now is drag him to the station. I'd rather just get to bed. <laughs> so the legend's as kind as he is strong. You hear that, buddy? Beat it. 
And don't do it again. <laughs> this happened a lot in Hawaii. Just another day in paradise, right? Oh, uh, fun fact. Hawaii's got the largest homeless population in America. Yet the cost of living here is absurd. You know, according to rumor, some states even send their homeless over here. Come start your miserable lives over beneath swaying palm trees and sparkling waves in the background. And once they get here, it's too late. What the mainland's really doing is shunting all the problems they can't or won't solve on us. As a result, you get people like our friend just now. So your country treats this place like a dump? That's messed up. Let me put it another way. There are four major currents in the North Pacific Ocean. And Hawaii sits right in the middle. So when it's time to pump the trash out to sea, where do you think it ends up? Oh, you guessed it. The Aloha State again. <sighs> so yeah, pity him all you want. He's just gonna do it again. It's the only way he knows how to survive. <sighs> What? Akane-san's been missing for ten days? Then where the heck has she been? I don't know. I'm just telling you what the Daidoji told me. Well, that's not at all what Shitose said. That's the maid who set you up, right? Yeah. And based on what she told me, Akane-san was only gone for that day. Not sure why you believe a word she said. A and was she even Akane-san's maid? Uh, like, you would have to be the dumbest chick in the world to rob your employer's own son. But then, why was she even there? <laughs> Hell, if I know, man. Then we need to ask Chitose herself. That's the only way we'll get to the bottom of this. And get back your passport while we're at it. Right. Yomizawa, how would you turn a stolen passport into money? Well, we do have a black market for that sort of thing. Oh, yeah? Sure. I mean, people buy up stolen goods all the time. And if it's passports, I know just the guy. Who? His name's Jeff. He runs a taco truck over on Waikiki Street. My name's Jeff. His tacos? <laughs> yeah. Tastes like ass. But that's beside the point. His real customers are pickpockets and homeless. So he buys up stolen passports, and then what? No, no, he must be reselling them somewhere. Mm, then Chitose might have sold his passport to Jeff. He does see a lot of Japanese people. It's how he got to be so fluent in the language. How soon can you take us to meet him? What, you thinking like right now? Yeah, we should act before the trail goes cold. Well, I'm afraid that won't work. It's 10 on a Monday night. I wouldn't want to... You know, get caught out there right now. Caught? By who? We take a good look and you'll see. Damn. Who are they? A local mafia. They call themselves the Barracudas. As you can see, they got the run of the place. In terms of manpower, Yamai and his goons are just small fry. And what's interesting about them is that they don't discriminate when recruiting. You know, since mafias tend to stick to one language or ethnicity. Then what brought these guys together in the first place? Well, once upon a time, they were all homeless. Or at least, most were. All those years of getting kicked around, ignored, and spat on by society must have triggered something in them. And at some point, they decided to band together. I guess anger runs thicker than blood. Every Monday night is like this. They come out of the woodwork and strut around till dawn. It's like their way of saying, we own this place. <laughs> and it works. Unless you want them turning you into poke, don't mess with them. Huh? They'll do what? 
Is there no way around? Can we just steer clear and make for Jeff's? No. Not unless you want to risk your life. Uh-oh. We got trouble. Oh, no, dude. Don't do it. Not to them. Yes, I'll take care of it. Hey! Excuse me. Not so fast, asshole. Beg your pardon. Thought you'd get away with it, huh? What's in your hand? My wallet, right? Take him around. See what's up, I don't want to see what's up. I don't want to die. Hey, hey! Are you nuts? Shit! I should have just said nothing! <laughs> Not a world knows a pair of boots will fuck around. Sure that bitch yeah. right! Yeah, that's how you handle things. Hey, come on, bro. Leave his ass. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Some, you guys don't want to see this. Trust me. Uh, what? I, I, is he okay or not? Yeah, it's hey. fine. Oh. Insane. They just cut him wide open. The last thing we want is to join him. We need to move fast. Hurry! Get up, man. We gotta go. You saw it. That was how the Barracuda sent a message. Before, I'd only heard stories. Never thought I'd have to see the real thing. You all right there, man? Hell no, I'm not! We could have gotten killed just now. And no one would even miss us. The cops would just walk away, leave the case unsolved. You saying they let a pack of killers roam free? As they say, let sleeping dogs lie. Same as the Yakuza in Japan, right? Take it from a local. We really need to call it a night. Tough as you two are, even you guys can't take on a whole army. Yeah, all right. Hmm. 
those barracudas man still hung up on what I did or the fact that they got away with it either way dwelling on it won't solve a damn thing all right right much as I want to stop them we need to focus on the task at hand this guy Jeff you mentioned who deals in stolen goods yeah from a taco truck on Waikiki Street it's a bit north of there you guys ready to go got it yeah Guess what's done is done. For now, let's get my passport back. Drinks. Later. Seen a show, dipshit. What's up? You sleep deprived or something? Yeah, couldn't sleep a wink. Just tossing and turning all night. Hey now, sleep is life. You gotta take care of yourself. I'll let you borrow this, so try it out tonight. What? Don't tell me it's sleeping pills. I don't... Special theory of relativity through quantum mechanics. But... Holy shit, it's huge! You actually carry this fucker around? Yeah, you read a few pages, and you're in snooze land before you know it. Yeah, but... What do I do with the other 944 pages? All right. I'm up. What's the hold up? Do your worst. Cool. Lift out now. Here we go. Nah, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Oh, come on! This is a genuine driver's license. It's got to be worth at least 70. Brother, 50 bucks, take it or leave it, yeah? I doubt someone else would give you the time of day. Oh, fine, tight ass. Jeff, how's it hanging? <laughs> well, if it isn't Eric Tomizawa. You hit upon a camera? Or did you want some carne asada? No, and hell no. Huh. Who have we here? My passport got stolen three days ago. You see it? Ah, <sighs> gee, I don't know. Let me ask my manager. Dude, you really gonna hold out on us? Last time I checked, bro, I wasn't running a charity. Ah, oh, pretty please. I accept all payments in cash. Come back when you actually have business, huh? Well, you heard the bastard. We're gonna need to pay him up front. How much is he gonna want? 
Eh, somewhere around 30 bucks. Might be able to haggle it down, though. Ugh, still pretty steep. Guess I'll need to come up with some cash. 30 bucks. Well, whatever. It's nothing, dude. If that's what it takes to find Chitose, I'll do it. Hmm. Chitose. Hey, you two. Over here. Huh? I happen to over here. You looking for a woman named Chitose? Uh, yeah. You got any info? I might have an idea of where you could find her. <laughs> Pretty young thing, right? Got her hair and braids like a dancer? Yeah, yeah! That's gotta be her! Where'd you last see her, old-timer? Take this. This is... for sex work? Like an escort service? Well, can't say you're asking the right guy, but my guess is it's for scoring some intimate time, if you catch my drift. <laughs> See, the other day, while I was dozing off around here, a guy dialed up the number on that flyer. And then, that Jertosic girl showed up. Oh man, she was unforgettable. I just couldn't take my eyes off her. From what I heard, she's that company's top talent. Hmm. Sounds like we have us a lead. Let's give him a ring. And, and hey, good looking out. But I gotta ask, why bother helping a couple of strangers? <laughs> Always happy to assist my fellow Japanese. Not to mention, Jeff's a douche. Makes me sick to watch him profit off of what he does. <laughs> well, guess what? You're a lifesaver, man. Thanks. Eh, ah, don't mention it. If you do find her, just buy me a drink next time you pass by. You got it. <laughs> I'll even take you bar hopping. Okay, you ready? Do it. Yes, hello. You've reached Gary's love camp. Hi, uh, hello. I, I saw your flyer and decided to call. And I'm... I'd like to invite a, a woman over. Huh? Congratulations! You're our hundredth customer. To celebrate, your service today is on the house. Luck is in your favor, my friend. Oh, for real? Thanks! Now then, could you please provide your name and current location? The name's Koska. I'm, uh, next to Jeff's taco truck. Oh, that's quite a sketchy spot. I completely understand your concern. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm concerned, exactly. <laughs> okay, well in that case, I'll send you one of our up-and-comers. Still wet behind the ears, but get the job done. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Actually, I was wondering if I could request Chitose, if possible. You want to request Chitose? Uh, just a moment, please. Hmm. Today really is your lucky day. As our rising star, Chitosi's usually all booked up, but she does have an opening right now. Oh, what a relief. If you could, please send her on over. Of course. She'll be there lickety-split. Thank you for your business. Did it work? Yep, Chitose's on her way. She'll be here lickety-split, the guy said. Good. Strange, though. I thought these businesses only sent someone to your hotel. Not that I'd know. Come to think of it, yeah. Maybe it's more like a dating service. Like where you meet up somewhere and go to the hotel later. Or that's a thing these days. <laughs> you sure know your stuff. You, uh, do this pretty often? Oh, not at all. It, it's just, I was raised in a soap land, so uh, this kind of deal's second nature to me. No kidding. You learn something new every day. It's nothing special. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting! Oh, looks like she's here. Huh? Where? Hey! Over here! What? Oh! 
Who are you? Whoa. Oh, um, are you Mr. Kasuga? Uh, yeah, I, I'm Kasuga. Nice to meet you. I'm Chitose. <laughs> Can't believe we found you so quickly. What a flawless plan. Nice going, Kasuga. What? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> That's not her at all! What? We've got the wrong one? Yeah, this chick's completely different. What, what the hell, old man? Huh? Uh, don't blame me. Isn't this who you're looking for? Her name's Titose. It's similar too. I mean, yeah, the hair's the same, and, and that name sure is a coincidence. But a hard Chitose isn't so uh, chiseled. Chiseled. What? Am I not good enough for you? Talk about rude. No, look, it, it's not like that. You're plenty good. Uh, Chitose-san? Hey, you shitheads making a racket. That's it. Time to shut you people up. We can figure this out later, Kasuga. Let's take care of these guys first. Uh, right. Hey, Chitose-san. Things are about to get rough, so stay behind us. Why? I ain't afraid of little boy over here. And besides, isn't this what you called me over for? Huh? I I'm not sure I understand. You requested me, Chitose Buster Holmes from Poundmates? Poundmates is a unique service that deploys fabulous fighters to help combat your pugilistic problems. Sorry, what? Hey, nobody fucking ignores me and lives to speak about it. You bitches are dead! Let's do this, Kasuga. Hell yeah! Your face pisses me the off. The battle is on! Let's see you try. What's the whole list out now? Here's the one. Hey, you've reached pound me. Oh, oh yeah, yes, thank you. Delivery. Coming at ya. Special delivery. Count on ya. Let's Got see it. you try. I'm even stronger now. Bro, who the hell are these dudes? And that chick, she's a monster. She's a monster. So, she's gonna a monster. run like a chicken? Or do we still got beef? What's it gonna be? Ah! Oh, please, please don't hurt me. And that does it for your free trial. Next time I'll have to charge, but I hope to see you again soon. Uh, sure. Alrighty, toodles! What was that all about? Well, that was pound mates. Whenever you're in a pinch, press pound to order some backup. You really do know your stuff. You do this often, too? I may have gone through a phase. <laughs> Good old pound mates. Never would have guessed they'd expand all the way into Hawaii. Talk about going global. Now, she wasn't the Chitose I expected, but she was a damn cool Chitose in the end. That girl is a monster. Ah. Looks so like we're going to need to come up with some cash after all. How much did you say we'd need? 30 bucks? Give or take. But that's the ballpark range. Oh, and if you couldn't guess, I'm broke. <coughs> right, I don't think I've got anything either. Wait, huh? What's up? What do you know? 
Turns out I do have the cash. What? Why didn't you just say so? That takes care of that. Let's beeline back to Jeff. Hi. Might solve the Jeff problem, but we don't know what to expect thereafter. We ought to save some for the future. Yes. Good plan. Never hurts to have a little cash on hand. Know of any part-time under the table type gigs? Mm? Uh, well, what kind of under the table work have you done? Uh, does picking up cans on a bike count? I did that when I was homeless. Okay, actually, if you got on a bike, maybe you could hack it as a delivery guy? Mm? Yeah. Delivering what? Yep. Food? Like, from restaurants? Delivery apps are real big over here. All you gotta do is pick up whatever the customer orders and bring it to them. Not too hard, right? Plus, these companies are always hiring. You can earn a pretty penny as long as you bust your ass, that is. Totally. Cruising around, delivering food? I can do that in my sleep. Where do I start? You can sign up through email. Once you're approved, go and wait by Aloha Beach. Yo! Heck, I could just shoot that email for you, save you the hassle. If you could, that'd be great. I'll head over to Aloha Beach in the meantime. A lot of... Aloha Beach. Uh, let's see if I can get these things Pigeons on the way. Hawaii. No, well, let me get that one. Okay, straight to the beach. I mean, Ijincho had a bunch, but there feels like more here. Chickens, too. And the bird's behavior seems subtly different. If you eat outside, before long, what? they'll start. You'll regret this. Bring it on. Cool. Allow me. All right. You're in it now. It's all worked out now. Here we go. Looks like I'm up. Oh yeah, so let's finish up here. A lot of pigeons in Hawaii. I mean, Ijincho had a bunch, but there feels like more here. Chickens too. And the bird's behavior seems subtly different. What? If you eat out... Give me all your cash! Okay, you asked for it. Yeah! <laughs> Looks like I'm up. <laughs> Here we go. Don't get what I say, and nobody gets me. Don't look out now. Cool. Allow me. All right. So let's finish up here. A lot of pigeons in Hawaii. I mean, Ijincho had a bunch, but what? there feels like more here. Chickens too. And the bird's behavior seems subtly different. If you eat outside, before long they all start closing in on you. Kiryu-san, you ever have a meal stolen by a pigeon? No. I've been surrounded by 20 ones. But I held my ground. Though, it was a 10 standoff. Wow. What are you looking at? Even pigeons respect... Don't think you can get away from it. Okay, you asked for it. Allow me. Let's go. Alright. 
Here we go. That's how you do it. Win that Oh yeah, so let's finish up here. Kiryu-san, you ever have a meal stolen by a pigeon? No. I've been surrounded by 20 ones, but I held my ground. Though, it was a 10 standoff. Wow. Even pigeons respect Kiryu's glare. Oh, joke, shithead. Pretty good. It works. Oh. Mm, delicious. Damn piece. What are you staring at? Your face. Get ready for this. All right, let's go. Cool. All right. Here we go. Around here, you said? This place has delivery jobs? It should, anyway. They hang out for a while. They'll show up. Uh, I, I'm gonna take off. Uh, good luck to you. That's it? Figured you were staying. I don't know why you thought that. I am a taxi driver, not some pedal pushing bike boy. Take it sleazy. Guess I'll just wait here. job bro huh uh, uh, yeah all right all right hmm. wild fro unique face getting a real wholesome moron vibe from you crazy i dig it you got a problem what the hell are you anyway me i'm from the company you applied to crazy eats food so fast you'll think you've gone crazy call me charlie You're from... Seriously? Um, sorry. My name's Ichiban Kasuga. I'm flat broke, so I need any work you've got. I beg you. <laughs> nice, nice. I like a guy who just lays it all out like that. You might just have what it takes to be crazy. Okay, you're in, Ichibro. Welcome aboard. Huh? Uh, hell yeah! Just like that? Sure, you've got the goods. More importantly, we're short-staffed. We'll hire anybody these days. Dogs, monkeys, bugs, shit, you name it. I, I uh, uh, okay. Well, uh, okay. thank you. Yep, now, enough chit-chat. Let's get you rolling. Uh, sure, so, um, what's the job like? I only know it's some kind of food delivery. Yeah, that's right. We pick the food up and bike it on over to customers. The real money is in tips, by which I mean the only money you keep is from tips. More deliveries, more dinero. All right, deliver the food. The faster I go, the more I make. 
You know, when I was really hard up, I used to bike around for empty cans. I got this. <laughs> That's wild, man. I should tell you, though, there's one other way to earn moolah on this gig. Something that'll boost my pay? Hell yeah, I'm all ears. Well, I'm talking about delivering crazily. What does that mean? I mean, we're crazy eats, aren't we? A crazy delivery is what we strive to embody. Crazy is captivating. Crazy is captivating? For example, consider how I made my entrance just now. Jumping, spinning around, screaming, it's captivating stuff, wouldn't you say? Seeing our delivery associates act fun and funky is exactly what Crazy Eats is all about. The extra service we provide. We want to make the people of Hawaii laugh and smile with our outside-of-the-box way of doing things. That's how Crazy Eats disrupts the entire delivery industry. Look where we are! People come here for a reprieve from the dull and ordinary. Do you really think food delivery in paradise should be the same as it is everywhere else? It's a nice idea, but writing like that? Wouldn't all of it just spill? That's where your skill as a contracted deliverist comes in. Ride as fantastically as you can without making a mess of the food and go fast. Somewhere in all that chaos lies the brilliance of a true crazy professional. And listen, even if the food does take a spill, we got insurance for it. Customers will hopefully be understanding. Of course, we don't insure the deliverer, so look out for yourself. Anyway, will that sound good to you? Sure, I'm in. Okay. That's more than enough onboarding. Learn by doing, I say. How's about you give it a go right now? Crazy delivery! Yes, yeah. can. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's get crazy! crazy. Yeah. This is crazy! Cool. Way to go! Oh. Oops. Got a little carried away <laughs> delivery! <laughs> yes, we can! Good delivery, Thanks, that was Stark. bloody... Thanks. That was yeah. amazing! Genius! Good job. I don't want to hit that thing again just yet. Delivery! Delivery! How's that? Cool! 
Was that just me? This is crazy! Genius! Crazy delivery! Thanks, Thanks for calling! Oh! Oh! Genius! Yeah. Let's right. party! Red! No. <laughs> Super crazy delivery. Pause oh, again. Time. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Cool. Great delivery. Delivery. This is crazy. Cool. Great delivery. Thanks for calling! Oh. Cool! Time to eat things up! Genius! Crazy delivery! Anytime! How's that? Cool! Genius! Out of the metal! Oh. Cool! Great delivery! Once again! Cool! Time right. to eat things up! Genius! Delivery! Delivery! Thanks! How's that? Cool! Great delivery! Thanks for calling! That's it! Well, that wasn't terrible. It wasn't good, but it wasn't terrible. Woo, that was hard work. Oh, yeah, now that's pretty crazy. That's the last of it. Excellente! Ichi, bro, that was sick! You almost never see someone disrupt so hard on their first go. My man, crazy deliveries might just be what you were born to do. <laughs> Thanks. It was tough, but once I got into a groove, pretty fun. Oh, <laughs> isn't it? The rush of speed, the danger of bailing, the insanity of your presentation. Oh, it's like ecstasy. <laughs> you can't get that feeling from just riding a bike. You need the pressure of delivering. For most people, it's too much. But adrenaline demons like you, bro, you're gonna master it and get rich! Work hard and become the craziest delivery associate we ever had. Oh, hey, let me give you this. Something to commemorate your first run. 30 bucks. That's it. Thanks. Glad to be working with you, Charlie. Ditto, bro. This is your calling. I know it. Remember, ABC, always be crazy. Well, finished, Casca? Yeah. Tell me you made at least 30 bucks. Totally. Come on, of course I did. Let's get over to Jeff. Just don't spend it along the way. <laughs> don't you worry. Anyone's good at hanging on to chump change, it's me. Alright then. To the taco truck we go. Did I really only earn 30 bucks from that? That is atrocious. Trouble in this woman. Not having that. Go 
Don't cry, Kia Mama. The battle is on. Here we go. Yeah, get run over, punk. Get serious. Hey, you! Hey, you! No, don't get sidetracked by presents. What? I'll be fine. Hey, asshole. What's up, Jeff? Uh, it's you. I've got your money. That's enough to get you to talk? Hmm, I suppose. What should I be talking about again? My passport got stolen three days ago. I want to know if someone brought it by. Hmm. Someone sure did. Really? She was Japanese, and not to mention gorgeous. No doubt that passport was yours. <laughs> I couldn't forget that thuggish face or blown up hair if I tried. Okay, so she sold it to you? Oh, no. She wasn't here to make money. She just wanted to know if it would get her into District 5. District 5? Uh, that's the Barracuda's hideout. Their hideout? You mean the guys from yesterday? Yeah, they got a squatter encampment across the river. It's all fenced in, with guards posted up at every corner. And if you're not one of them, huh, no good luck getting in. Or out. Okay, and... How's my passport supposed to get someone in? Well, they have an interesting rule. If you're an outsider, they tell you to go steal a passport. Why is that exactly? That's how they make their money, fabricating passports. Apparently, the only way to make a good fake is by altering an original. Every passport I buy, I sell to them. Though not directly, of course. So someone else's passport is your ticket to District 5, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> and the girl who came by with yours, that ticket's probably long gone. Though, a girl like her should not be anywhere near District 5 by herself. Oh, wait. I tried to tell her, but no. Nobody listens to Jeff. Then what would make her even want to go in there? Beats me. But... I doubt you'll see your passport again, brother. Once it's in District 5, it does not leave. Well, I need it back. And I've got business with the thief who took it. Yeah, well, you can kiss your thief goodbye, too. Unless you follow her into District 5 somehow. Your adventure ends here, pal. Well, you heard him. I'd rather live to see tomorrow, so... Listen, Akane-san's mixed up in some real bad stuff. Someone might even be holding her captive. And right now, 
Chitose's our only lead. Hmm. Can we get into District 5 another way? <laughs> I mean, maybe. But you're better off just swiping a passport. Hey, if there's another way, just tell us. Look, bottom line. District 5 is an impenetrable fortress of bubbles. But if you're a cop, you could probably get in. A cop? Yeah. <laughs> they do a monthly sweep there, claiming it's for safety reasons. But they just walk in and out, ignoring all the atrocities inside. They're just doing it to keep up appearances. All they care about is that and donuts. Hmm. Anyway, if you want to know the guy in charge, his name is Roman. He's probably in deep with the Barracudas. So we'll ask Roman to bring us along on patrol. That could be an option. Man, I never want to see a cop again. True, you're still a wanted man. Maybe leave the talking to me. Mmm, guys, you gotta realize. Roman's gonna flag this as a risk. And he's a greedier jerk-off than me. Expect to pay him 50,000 bucks. Uh, a buck's like a hundred yen, right? That'd be... Five million in yen? Please don't bring him yen. And besides, there's no way you can afford it. Is it clear you're wasting your time yet? No, I'd say this is our chance. Why? <laughs> you have a mattress full of money lying around? No, everything is negotiable, that's all. Huh. Well, I don't know who you think you are, but what's the harm in trying? He drinks every night at Diamond Head, a bar by District 5. We Akamai now? Sure. Hey, we really doing this? Hell yeah, we're doing this. Hey, guys, could you hold up a second? Why? Something wrong? You really shouldn't go to District 5. I'm saying this for your own good. Waltzing right into Barracuda turf? It's practically suicide. We're aware of the danger, but we don't have time on our side. If going into District 5 is the quickest way to solve things, then so be it. Right. And it's not like we're out to wreck the place. We're just gonna look for Chitose and get out. Yeah, if things play out right, we might not have to deal with the Barracudas at all. See? It's exactly that kind of thinking that's gonna get us all killed! <clears throat> Maybe you're right. Maybe they're more dangerous than we realize because we're not from here. But what's this really all about? Something tells me you've got more to say. You have history with the Barracudas? Is that it? <sighs> you know, you can always tell us. What makes you think we wouldn't help? He's right. And until you talk, he'll hound you to the ends of the earth. You know how persistent he is. Really gotta put it like that? Uh... <sighs> so, this is far from a fun story. And not a short one either. It all happened a few years back. I was just a simple taxi driver. No Yamai, no cons, nothing like that. So you really were an honest cabbie, once? Yeah, well, I also wasn't rich, but I, I was happy. I had a woman to love, and man, did she love me. You believe we almost had a kid? And look it back. Those were the best days of my life. Huh. Never knew you had a family. And my girl. Her name was Marie. She was... astounding. And you guys would love her. Anyway, she was nearly... six months pregnant when it happened. And the cops showed up at our place with a warrant for my arrest. They came to arrest you? For what? They said I held up a cab and stole a bunch of money from some executive. What the hell? I was being framed, obviously. But the witnesses kept pouring in. And before I knew it, the judge gave me five years in prison. And the attorney had told me if I tried pleading innocent, they'd lock me for 15 years instead. So you pled guilty then? Yeah. It was... 
I either I swallow the five years or take the risk and triple it. And I was too broke to hire a better lawyer. It was like a nightmare I couldn't wake up from. I have my whole life ahead of me, and then in an instant, it was gone. <sighs> I never even understood why. That is, till I got to prison. Turns out I wasn't the only one screwed over like this. They told me so themselves. You mean, the guys in prison? Yeah. Apparently, the Barracudas get away with so much shit because their boss will set up innocent people instead. He'll bring in a bunch of fake witnesses or buy out the police if he has to. You remember Roman, that cop Jeff mentioned? He's the guy pulling the strings on the law side. <sighs> Seems not a lot's changed since then. So the Barracudas have the police in their pocket. Uh, how'd Marie take it? When I got locked up, she only came to see me once. She told me she missed Gary. No. And she was under so much stress. Should have seen it coming. I doubt she was eating right or getting any sleep. Her eyes were sunken. She was thin as a bone. All because this bullshit that happened to me. And that was the last I saw of her. When I got out, I couldn't find a single trace of her. Honestly, I just hope that she's out there doing okay. I told you this wasn't gonna be fun. And that's only half the story. Once I was free, I started hanging by this fancy restaurant near District 5. Why? Because word inside was that it was the favorite haunt of the Barracuda's boss. So I spent every last cent I had to my name and bought a gun. Shit. For revenge? For Marie. For a child who never had a chance at life. I knew what the boss looked like. I'm not sure anymore how long it took, but I kept watching until the day he showed his face. When I was locked up, I always imagined it going the exact same way. I rushed past his goons, stepped right up to him, and empty my whole clip point blank and the moment came i was shaken couldn't move <sighs> he even had fewer guards than i'd pictured should have been easy bastard walked right past me he didn't have a care in the world i'm a fucking coward maybe but that's why you're alive today if you'd gone through with it you would have been killed. Just another gutted corpse. At least I'd have been killed for a reason! What am I now? A ghost? Who robs tourists with a gun he hasn't got the courage to shoot? Isn't it better to die for something than to live for nothing? Tomisawa. With all my money gone, I fell in with Yamai to pay my debts. He's the only man left in Hawaii still stupid enough to compete with the Barracudas. What's that say about me? Huh? I'm even stupider for following him. Or maybe I was hoping he'd be able to take them down someday. But I knew it'd never happen. So that's my story. Hope you realize now who you're dealing with. Not just the Barracudas. With scum like me. Well, you sure set us straight about how bad the Barracudas can get. Yeah. Their ties with the police are worrying. But listen, you've got yourself all wrong, Tomizawa. Huh? You're not a bad guy. And you're no coward. I saw you walk away from Yamai. That took real courage. He might have killed you, but you knew it was the right thing to do. Come on, man, you talked me into it. That doesn't matter. You made the decision. It was your call, nobody else's. Now, no more robbing people, okay? Can we agree on that? <laughs> yeah. Huh. After all you've been through, I get that this may be a fight you want to walk away from. But if you really think you're scum, that you're just another criminal, this might be the only way to change that. A way to start living again. 
Look, killing the boss of the Barracudas or not, that's another call you'll have to make yourself. All I know is that I'm not gonna stand by and let them keep getting away with their shit. And if you're up for it, I know you'll be able to help us take them down. <laughs> you want me? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, our English is pretty rough. We could use a translator. Besides that, we need to find Akane-san fast. That means going to District 5. And I don't know anybody as well acquainted with the Hawaiian underworld as you. Help us out, and maybe get the chance to set things right. Not a bad deal, is it? What do you think, Kiryu-san? Hmm. It may be dangerous. But it could also be your one path to redemption. <laughs> you two are some lousy salesmen, honestly. If you're still planning to take the Barracudas on after all you've heard... We are. Then fine. I'll go with you. Do-gooders like you? The Barracudas will eat you alive without me. Yeah. <laughs> eat you alive. I get it. <laughs> Glad to have you on board, Tomizawa. You're both nuts. Fine. First things first. We find Roman. You have a good eye for teammates. <laughs> it's not hard to tell when someone needs a friend. Let's do this. Let's get it. Get out of my town. Let's do it. Allow me. Better than I thought. Hey, yeah, uh, well, hey, you get out of my town. Bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> Allow me. Looks like I'm up. 
These are tough. Still good to go. Pretty good. It works. Good stuff. Go. What do you want? Your problem. <laughs> Found ya. <laughs> Okay, you asked for it. Cool. the crowd's friendly gonna guess you're Roman and I'm gonna guess you're new in town welcome to Hawaii pal seems you're quick to make friends the taco guy told me all about you uh. yeah he said there's some real snaky people trying to join the Barracudas <laughs> good old Jeff always looking out for his fellow citizens this guy's already pissing me off do all American cops love to hear themselves talk? Jeff, you dirty, stinking asshole. I'll tell you right now. We're not interested in joining a gang. All we want is to get into District 5 and get out. We heard you could make that happen. Oh, you did? Well, I do lead a regular patrol there. But come on. Do I look like the type to go around making backroom deals? And you. You're that John Doe who bolted out of the station. 
I don't think you're in any position to be asking me favors, especially concerning District 5. Tell me something, Roman. You a family man? And why should you care? I just thought a bright, honest cop like yourself might have a family waiting at home. I envy that, you know? Well, I do have a bombshell of a wife. But my son, there's my pride and joy. Kid's turning 20 this year. How <laughs> time flies. Yeah, it's funny, he keeps asking me for a sports car. What he wants is 50 grand. Can you believe it? I mean, I'm just a glorified beat cop. You know how little they pay me? If only there was someone out there, some kind soul who could grant my son's wish. Ah, oh, but surely there's no one that generous. <laughs> Did he really just ask for 50 grand? <laughs> Maybe Jeff's not such an asshole after all. <laughs> so what's it gonna be? Feeling generous today? Way I see it, you boys don't have much of a choice. I'm sure you noticed, but me and my guys run the show here. One wrong move might land you a trip to the coroner's office. <laughs> Whatever happened to protect and serve, huh? <laughs> Roman. If all you're after is money, you'll have to try someone else. Now, I suggest you take us to District 5 before things get out of hand. <laughs> what did you just say? Also, we'll need his record cleared of any and all false charges. You're hardly the first cop I've seen point a gun. But the ones I know only do it to save a life. To uphold the values they believe in. Stay back. Maybe I have no right to say this, but seeing scum like you hold a badge, it makes me sick. I said stay back! <laughs> well, that was reckless. All I'm doing is talking, and yet you pop one off. <coughs> Don't just stand there. Tomizawa, ready for action? Huh. Never been more ready. No need to go soft, boys. I want to see these fuckers in a coma! Ready for this? The battle is on! Cool. Huh? What you What's scared? the holdup? Here's the one! Hey! You've reached pound me! Huh? Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you. Delivery! Coming at ya! Special delivery! Been looking forward to this one! Go to hell! I'll take a while. Here we go. That small artist. Alright. Huh? Oh, come on. Break. You boys are nothing. Yeah. Are you getting scared? Allow me. I'm gonna show you. Cool. Oh! <laughs> 
Here we go. I'm even stronger now. Eat shit! Fucker! Kumisawa! You eat shit! Why'd you do that? Uh, do what? You nearly got your head blown off just now! Oh! <laughs> True that. Close one, huh? <laughs> More than close, dumbass! How the hell can you just throw your life away? What the hell? <sighs> no brainer, man. I'd take a bullet for a bud any day. <sighs> oh, uh, which reminds me, how's the hair? Ah, oh, shit, don't tell me. Kiri-san, I don't have a bald patch, do I? I think the bullet ripped a chunk out. Does it look bad? Hmm, can't say I see any difference. The tips are a bit burned, but your hair looks like it's seen more bullets than one. What? Because it's standing up on end? Look, pal, I'll have you know this is a custom job, okay? Special order, top-of-the-line cut. I paid money for They're this. They're on another level. Let me get this straight. Not only are you a barracuda pawn, you've been using your position to frame people? I asked you a question. Yeah, that's right. And Tomizawa and Kasuga here are two of your latest victims? Yeah. Yeah. What of it? Goddamn son of a bitch! Tomizawa, save that anger for the barracudas. You'd only be wasting it on him. Uh, fuck! Listen up. You're gonna wipe every last charge your boys gave me. Right now? I can't even take a step on this beautiful island without looking over my shoulder. And that pisses me off. All right. Fine. Thank you, officer. Don't forget. We also need access to District 5. You don't know what you're asking. It's not some asinine tourist trap. Believe me, we're not here to play around. We're looking for a girl who's in there. I'll level with you. I can get you in, simple enough. But if the Barracudas found out, there'd be hell to pay. <laughs> you saying they're a bigger threat than I am? Think about that carefully. Okay, okay, let's just be cool here, yeah? Meet me tomorrow in front of District 5. Be there at noon, on the dot. That's more like it. In Hawaii, public indecency's a thousand dollar fine, right? Here. Sorry I won't buy you a sports car. <sighs> Here you, son. I don't have the words right now, man. Finally, I can walk around free. Looks like you're off the hook for now. Maybe thank Tomizawa sometime. Hmm. Guess it can't take us right All away. Right. It's late enough as it is. Let's head back to the hotel for the night. Now there's an idea. I'm beat. This ain't a show, dipshit. That was hey, good you. shit, boys. Good 
Oh shit. So there's the hotel. That's how we'll do it. Let's go. Let's get serious. The brother alone. You'll respect it. Bring it on. Allow me. Are oh, you getting scared? Time to put you down. Oh, come on, bring it. Yeah. Ow. Ah. Yeah. Wind 
Never Next win. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. What are you looking at? Fork over your cat. The battle is on. All right. Let's go. Something wrong? Here I come. Armed and ready. Here they go. Okay. Looks like I'm up. What? Here we go. Take the fight. Oh. That's oh, no that way. Who knew I had it in me? I think I could uh, sleep for a week. Uh, oh. I hear you. Huh. Me, I could sleep for double that. Oh. Huh. How are you still on your feet, Kiryu-san? Uh. I guess you're just built different, huh? I wouldn't say that. I'm barely holding up myself. <laughs> you know what? After today, I think we all could use a drink to lift our spirits. There is ice in the freezer. As for glasses, you can find some in the bar. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'll just grab a couple of these. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> you really held your own today, Tomizawa. <laughs> I've been around the block, man. And one morning, I'm rolling with you by. Next day, sharing a roof with you two. And soon, we'll be deep in District 5. It's crazy how life switches it up on you. Sorry to drag you into all this. It's a lot. You didn't drag me into nothing. Yeah, I figure this is just part of getting my life together. For real, though, you guys really did save my life. Maybe even my damn soul. And damned or not, I'm not just gonna bail on you. Not after what you did. So, sorry for the inconvenience, but you're stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that. Though, you sure you're okay with what happened? Cutting ties with Yumai and all? Remember what you said at the house? I had a choice, and I made it. 
Only reason I joined his little syndicate in the first place is because I couldn't pay back what I owed him. And then before I knew it, I was 30, with nothing to show for it. Age doesn't mean squat. It's never too late to turn a new leaf, no matter how heavy it is. You... you think so? Totally. Just look at me, man. I was locked up for 18 years, and when I got out, I was in my 40s. And ever since then, it's been... Uh, how should I put it? <laughs> it's been one wild ride. So chin up, Tommy. I'm sure you'll be just fine. Did you just call me Tommy? Yeah, Tommy. As in Tommy's hour. Dude, that's lame as hell. I mean, you could just call me Eric. What? Uh, Tommy's perfect for you. Kiryu san, back me up. <laughs> Can't say much for the nickname thing. But you're right about turning a new leaf. As long as you stick to it. You'll find yourself in a better place. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I should have poured you in first. <laughs> uh, you good with it on the rocks? No, thanks. I like to feel the heat. <laughs> Anyhow. Just be aware that everything has to end sometime. You can always turn a new leaf, but you can't turn back the clock. All you get is the precious time you're given. That's why you've got to live every last moment to the fullest. I figured I knew that well enough already. But to my surprise, I still had a lot left to learn. Uh, Kiryu-san? Did... something happen? Yeah. If anyone deserves to know, it's the guys who have my back. Thing is... I've got cancer. <gasps> Seems I've got half a year left, at most. Not too long ago, I was working in a temporary waste storage facility for decommissioned reactors. The forklift driver had a sudden heart attack. One accident led to another. You got a death wish? Forget the rest and get out ASAP! The drums weren't filled with much. Contaminated dirt, worn out components, protective suits. As far as radioactive waste goes, it was low risk. Low enough for no immediate harm, as far as experts were concerned. In light of that, there is no certainty it was the cause. The cancer could have come from just about anywhere. Hold up. 
How are you doing in a friggin' reactor? This is nuts. This is how I chose to make amends. Leaving my old life behind meant living in the shadows for good. Every time I stepped into the light, the people I loved got hurt. It had to stop. Trouble is, there's not a lot you can do in the dark. Not a lot of good, anyway. So, this was your answer to all that? Yeah. This was something I chose. Hardest part was convincing that I doji to let me do it. <sighs> and this is much bigger than me. Right now, that reactor's full of people willing to step up and do the work that needs to be done. All I wanted was to play a part however I could. Otherwise, I probably would have wasted away into nothing by now. That's about the smartest thing I could think of. You know, being educated on the streets and all. Uh, you sure there's not some mistake? All you've got is half a year? Yeah. The last thing I wanted was to make a big deal out of it. But then I figured it wouldn't be right if I kept this from you guys. Yeah. I don't know. You seem like you're in good shape to me. <laughs> well, I can still haul ass when need be. <clears throat> that said, I need to pick my battles wisely for my health. Uh, so, is that why back at Akane's, you weren't exactly spoiling for a fight with Yamai? Yeah. <laughs> Though. I am a bit hurt. <laughs> you really think I'd pick a random fight that easy? This shit's unreal. Kiryu-san. Of all people. Man, you don't have time to be out here wrecking yourself like this! What you need right now is a doctor! Believe me, I've gone. Apparently the cancer spread. Metastasized, they called it. Nothing any surgery can fix. They gave me some pills to ease things, but that's it. Still, if you're sick, then you need to be getting your rest. You said it's the Daidoji faction calling the shots here? Well, I've got some words for them. Kasuga. No, I'll make this right! Kasuga, it's not like that. <sighs> my being here and everything, that was my decision from the start. If it helps, I'm not just following orders. And don't feel like you dragged me into this either. But then, why? I just don't think retirement's in the cards for me. Sure, maybe I could stop and settle down. But I'd rather put what time I've got left to work. Work? Doing what? Running around on the government's leash? Instead of that, how about you stop running away from reality? <sighs> Think I'm gonna hit the shower. <laughs> when I'm out, we'll rock, paper, scissors. See who gets the floor. Is he for real? Hey, Guska, you okay? Yeah. I know the guy's basically a superhero or whatever, but that's just crazy. I mean, he's got cancer. Once he's out of the shower, let's try to convince him to go to the hospital again. There's a pretty big one here in town. No, it's useless. No one would be enough to stop him now. Huh? Kiryu-san, he had the same look in his eyes as Arakawa-san. 
See you tomorrow, Ichi. I see now. They're the same. He had already made up his mind, too. What, 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 what do you mean? Who did? Uh, actually, it's kind of hard to explain. Anyhow, if that's how Kiryu-san wants it, then there's only one thing we can do. We get this taken care of quick as possible, then get him to a hospital. Sound good? What? Man, I just don't get you guys. Think about it. If you up and die, it's all over. All right, let's get moving. What? Are you still upset? No, I'm not upset. Still, it did catch me off guard. I just didn't want you guys to worry. Sorry. Guess I only made you more concerned. Well, I mean, how could we not be? But Kiryu-san... Hmm? Seriously, thanks for telling us. If I didn't know and something happened to you, I would have never been able to forgive myself. To be honest, I'd rather drop everything and take you to the hospital straight away. That said, I know how stubborn you are. So, for my sake, do you think you can rely on us a little more? Rely on you? I'm not about to treat you like you're on your deathbed, but we're here too, you know? So, share the load. We got your back. This way, you won't push yourself too hard, and we'll stay happy. Right? Right. Mm, I see. All right. Yeah, I'll try to do that. For what it's worth, your help means a lot. Both of you. <laughs> Just doing what we can. Yeah? Definitely. Happy to help. Right, enough chit-chat. Where to? Good question. We still have a bit of time before our meeting. There's no telling what we'll be up against. Make sure you're ready for anything. Tomizawa, is there a good place to go shopping around here? Hmm. How about the Anaconda Shopping Center? Close to District 5, and they got pretty much everything. Cool. Stock up there first. I might be a natural in this. And that's probably a good place to call it for this time, I think. I've got a fair bit done there. And I put in four hours work. So uh, I could do with hitting the shower myself. <laughs> it's warm in here tonight. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It's nice to see you all popping in. And uh, Fine, I will try and get the next episode done tomorrow. All being well. I'm feeling good. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. So hopefully I'll see you then. Peace.